Hello, and welcome to this podcast of Adding a Tower to Your Reformer. My name is Joy Paleo, and I'm the Education Programming Manager at Balance Body, here to give you a little journey through towers, adding them to your reformer. So your first question, what is a tower? Well, if you look to my right and to my left, you're going to see reformers with this tower-like structure behind us. This tower adds about 95% of the repertoire that you currently find on your trapeze table or your Cadillac, and it puts it right into the same footprint that is your reformer. Now, when you add this tower to your reformer, what you're doing is you're taking that same space and you are absolutely doubling your capacity and your exercise options. We used to call this a half track, and we realized that we're doing 95% of the repertoire. If we're doing 95% of the repertoire that you find on your trap table in your Cadillac, then guess what? Half trap is not the best explanation or name for it, so we called it a tower. Now what your tower comes with, first of all, you add it to the back of your reformer, you can slot in this conversion mat, and what you now do is you make this a stable surface, much like your trap table. The tower has these eye bolts, and on these eye bolts, we attach the springs. On this one end of your tower, you have both a push-through bar and you have your roll-down bar. So that's where we get the full functionality of the, of the trap table onto the tower, because we take the two opposite ends and we put them together. Now you'll notice these eye bolts are all along the frame, along the top, and they're even on the bottom. This allows you great variability in where you place the springs. Speaking of the springs, every tower is going to come with our balanced body springs. You're going to come with long springs, which are usually for the lower body, and short springs, which can be used on the push-through bar, the roll-down bar, or can be for upper body work. Now your push-through bar does exactly what it says. It pushes through, right? It can come down and push through the uprights of your tower. When it's sprung from the top, it's relatively safe. But often, you may want to spring it from the bottom. And you will notice over here, it's sprung from the bottom, and it has on it the safety strap. Every kit comes with a safety strap and a carabiner at the very top. Please always use your safety strap. Safety is very important to us here at Balanced Body, as I know it is for you in your studio. So now let's just talk about one more thing. The tower uses the same footprint as your reformer. So for me as a studio owner, what was optimal about it was that I could take just reformer classes and then I can make them integrated reformer tower classes or just tower classes. I took the same footprint and then I was able to give my clients three different options. So not only do you get variability of exercises and diversity for your clients, but you actually get the option to maximize your space, your footprint. Now the other thing you can do here is if you have space on the back end of your tower, you can do standing work using the springs for the upper body or the lower body, and you can do a whole complement of standing work off the back end of the tower. The other thing you need to know is you can purchase your reformer with a tower. All of the wood, with the exception of the Fletcher, you can add a tower to. You could also add your tower at a later date. With regard to our aluminum frames, the tower can be added to the Allegro, it can be added to the Allegro 2, but we, you cannot add a tower to your home IQ reformer. So there you have it, adding a tower to your reformer. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here at Balanced Body. We'd be happy to answer them, and thank you for joining me.